Nigeria is home to more than 500 languages, but many are at risk of dying out. Urbanization, lack of documentation and declining use among young generations have put several indigenous tongues on the endangered list. However, efforts have been made to save many as possible. And modern technology and youthful enthusiasm are at the heart of these efforts. Indigenous languages and indigenous peoples um, Meet Lekon Iyolakon, the founder of Center for Digitization of Indigenous African Languages, or CDIL. His startup has launched a conversational AI tool known as Indigenous Mobile, through which people can interact in their native languages. So, collecting data from different people, speech recognition data, text to speech data, from a wide variety of people, we have hundreds of thousands of hours that we have collected so far, and filtering it through our great team. They do such a great job, has helped us so far in working on 10 languages. And right now, we just even kick-started working on another 12, which brings a total of 22 languages. With Indigenous AI Agent Pro. Indigenous allows users to type, speak, and chat in several indigenous languages, including Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa, the major languages in the country. African languages, obviously, because the first time it was written, the languages are oral. And the first time they, um, they were written, um, they were, the lexicon and orthography was circled around Latin writing, which is the way that people write in, in you know, A, B, C to Z. But also, it has extra alphabets. For example, Igbo has 30-something alphabets, you know, um, and probably even some strange um, alphabets you have never seen merged together. It was very important to us. It's one of the reasons we created the indigenous keyboard which is uh, a keyboard that helps you type in almost 180 African languages. And that helped us to be able to identify these tones and diacritics that are in every language when we are digitizing it. However, while some experts say AI could play an important role in the documentation and accessibility of indigenous languages, they have concerns over misrepresentation. So AI can attempt to capture the structure of, you know, uh, our language, our writings, our recitals. In fact, it can even attempt to capture the tone, but it can never capture that cosmic feel. It can never capture that, uh, that spiritual feel. And that is why I keep saying that I may not be, uh, I may not be uh, authoritative in other fields, but when it comes to language and heritage, I keep saying that give it 200 years from now, AI might have, you know, definitely there would have been a lot of progression but one thing that is certain is that the human element would always be needed, would always be necessary to complete, uh, you know, what we call cosmic or spirituality in language. While it is seriously going to aid the codification of these languages, there will be a need to ensure that the native speakers of this language are mainly involved in this documentation and data collection procedure. Let it not be that when we are done fighting the battle of sustaining the languages, we'll now get into the battle of trying to make the language survive in its original indigenous form. Indigenous. As for AI-powered tools like Indigenous, it's playing a vital role in preserving indigenous languages for future generations. The team is aiming to venture outside Nigeria and increase the local languages on the platform to over 2,000 in the near future. Digi Bademasi CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.